We all know that everybody wants more distance off of the tee. It statistically leads to lower scores when you have a shorter iron or a wedge into a green versus a long iron. So how do we get more distance? I've got a few great drills for you today that will hopefully free you up a little bit so that we can make a faster swing with more club head speed to get you up there closer to the green. The first one I've got for you is a little bit of that Kyle Berkshire drill. So he's a long drive guy for those of you who don't know who that is and he hits it super far. So one of the things he does with his coach Bernie Najar is he starts rocking back and forth. So I'm going to kind of put my weight on my front foot and then move it back and forth. And I'm just allowing my arms and the club to swing with me as I do that. So you can see the club's kind of moving with my body. I'm gonna do that a few times and then I'm gonna actually swing back and through. And you can see when I do that, I'm actually stepping with my front foot, which will initiate my downswing. When I do this, it allows me to push down into the ground before pushing back up and through the ball. This creates more club head speed because we're using the ground more effectively. The second drill I have for you, you can actually hit balls with both of these, but the second drill, I'm going to hover the golf club up in the air a little bit as I'm getting my setup. I'm just going to start to kind of go back and through. I'm leaving my feet on the ground this time, but I'm allowing my chest and hands to swing back and through a little bit. And then I'm going to go up and through the ball. So when we actually go to hit the ball, the club is starting way out in front of that golf ball. It's going to give me some momentum going back. It's going to force my weight to transfer correctly, and it's going to help me create a lot more speed coming down and through the shot here. So again, we've got, we're going to kind of go back and forth like this, and I'm really using and focusing on my, on my feet and the ground to get more speed. And then I'm going to focus on having nice loose hands and arms and I'm going to swing back and through very similar drills but the first one is certainly focusing on using the ground a little bit more than the second one is. All right so let's go ahead and hit some now we're going to use both drills to hit these golf balls. I'm going to start with that Kyle Berkshire drill so I'm going to get my setup here first and then I'm just going to start rocking back and forth with my feet. Yeah, so you can see how that weight transfer and really using the ground helps to create a lot of club head speed. It's a great drill. Obviously, if a long drive guy like him is using it, it's a good one for you to use as well. The second one we can do, we're gonna just get our setup, just like normal here. We're leaving our feet planted on the ground this time, and we're just gonna start swinging our hands and arms back and through. Yeah, I love the speed and the ball flight I have when I do these drills. It's definitely gonna help you hit longer drives, which again, statistically leads to lower scores. So try these drills out, and I know they're gonna help you hit longer drives.